Hello! If you have been watching my shelling videos that I've been posting in the last couple months, these are all the shells that I picked up from that trip. Um, so all the recent videos up until like the second week in June are these shells. And so um, as you can see like when I'm on vacation, I do rinse them off slightly and then I just put them in bags and this is how I bring them home. And then I also have some containers that fit into my suitcase. And so I kind of, you know, I do a light cleaning in the hotel, but I want to do a little better cleaning. This is bleach. And so what I do is I do 80% water and 20% bleach. I have these little white plastic uh, garbage cans. I believe I got these at the grocery store, but you can find these at the Dollar Tree too. I leave these in my garage. I just use them for shelling or rock hounding. I do a lot of rock hounding too. So these are reserved just every time I need to clean shells or rocks. So what I'm going to do is fill these up, like I said, 80% water, 20% bleach, and then put all these shells in these buckets for about two hours, and then I will rinse them off. As you can see, I'm doing this outside with the outdoor hose. Of course, you can do your shells inside, but I have so much. I just prefer to do that outside, and then I will spread them out, let them dry on the deck, and then I will show you close up the shells I got. And then this trip, I have some specific jars I'm gonna use. And at the end, I'll show you uh, the shells I keep to put in the jars. And then, well, I'm keeping all these shells, but <laughs> some I use to display in the house and then the rest I will put in my shell garden. All right, here are the shells soaking. These five buckets are actually pretty full. Definitely got a lot of shells. I could probably use a couple more buckets. So I'm gonna let these soak for about two hours and then I'm gonna rinse them out with the strainer. Again, I keep the strainer in the garage. Just use it for shelling. Oops, cut myself. Shells are pretty sharp. And then, um, yeah, two hours, I'll come back. I'll rinse them off really good. I'm not gonna show that because it's hard to record. But yes, I'll rinse all these off, get all the bleach water off, drain them, and then put them on the deck, and then I will show you as they are spread out on the deck. All right, here are the shells rinsed off. They're not completely dry. It keeps raining, and I'm like, okay, I just gotta sort them because it just keeps raining. <clears throat> As you see, I got a lot of conch shells. Those are all just, these are called fighting conch shells. And they will all go in my shell garden. So what I'm really just gonna sort through is I really want to pull out all these little worm shells. Um, I don't find these that much and I really, really like these. I um, have a special jar for them. So I got a little basket. I'm just gonna put those in. And then, oh look at this. That is a really good um, shark side. Got some just little conks, some olive shells. Oh my God, my neighbor of course decides to put the dog out when I try to record. See how nice my neighbor is. Oh yeah, she always puts the dog out and it barks, barks, barks. Piece of glass. Um, I don't really find much sea glass in this Santa Bell. That's a nice warm one. Look at that. I'm gonna sit down. Okay. So really, you're just gonna watch me pull out all the warm shells. And then I will do a separate video showing um, how I display the ones that I'm putting inside and then the rest I think I mentioned earlier will go in my um, shell garden. Oh, that's a really nice tulip. Look at that. I think I will start putting really nice ones in here just to help me um, get that all good trip you've been watching my shelling videos it was definitely one of the better trips 
we plan to go back soon. Um, so yeah, these shells are from January. The reason I'm just now cleaning them um, is because, you know, I'm in Missouri. And so as soon as I got back from that trip, we got a lot of snow. We got a lot of rain. Just hasn't really been warm enough. And then, you know, they're just sitting in the garage and kind of forget about them. So since we started planning another trip, I'm like, I gotta get these shells out. The rule is to have, before I can do another shelling trip, I have to have the other shells put away. So, getting these put away and displayed. Oh, look at that's a really pretty olive. Lots of nice shiny olives this trip. So every trip, like, it, no, no trip is the same. Like, some trips you see a lot of olives, and then the next trip you won't see any olives. So it's just, um, it's a nice tulip. I didn't see many whelks this this January trip. This is a this is a whelk. So I didn't really get many of these. Definitely the most thing I saw was the fighting cocks. And I've definitely sorry about that. I'm outdoors on my deck, so lots of traffic going by. It's, a, it's in the middle of the day, so everyone's out running around. So anyway, this trip I saw a bunch of these, and previous trips I've not got any at all. So every trip. You just, you just don't know what you're going to find. It, but you always find something good. Look at that tulip. So, like, one of my trips, all I found was scallop shells. This trip, as you can see, I think there, I think there was a lot of scallop shells. I just didn't pick any up because I've got lots of scallop shells from previous trips. These turbans, I don't see these as much. So these are pretty rare. It's broken, but it's still pretty. Alright, let's scoot down a little. We'll get a different spot. That's another pretty olive. Lots of tulips. So I'm just trying. See, I didn't get many worms. That's why I like it. I think that's why I like the worms so much, these pieces of worms, because I just don't see them that much. I was going to try to make it back here, and then I realized I'm going to miss, and it's going to go underneath my deck, and then I'm lost for good. Look at that little tulip. Sun's coming out. That's a nice little whelk. Oh man, it is fun sorting through these shells. I totally forgot how many good shells I got. This is a Murex. There's a piece of worm. So, um, I did, on this trip, I did find a couple sea urchins that were dead um, that I did bring back to the room, but I ended up not taking them. I just left them on the shell cleaning station. I, I, this trip, we stayed at, what was it? It's been a couple months now, I forget. It was like the Sunset Beach Inn, I believe. Um, they had a shell cleaning station. And so I left a couple shells and sea urchins back there. Um, sea urchins, even when you find them on the beach, they're still stinky. It's a long process to get them to look like what you see when you buy them in, sh in sea shops or shell seashell shops. And it's a lot of work, and I don't always have the patience for that. And so I just left them behind. Um, if, if you want to display sea urchins, I just recommend buying them at the seashell shop. And oh, there's another shark's eye um so anyway this we're next trip next trip we're gonna stay at the west wind inn we have never stayed there before so I, i'm looking forward to trying a new hotel I, I wouldn't stay at the sunset beach again it was fine just not the best we've stayed at the island inn numerous times i would definitely recommend the island inn um, it is definitely, it's a good hotel. The only reason we're not staying there again is because we just want to try something different. And we've already, you know, tried a different beach, tried a different area of the beach. Um, and so we're just further down the beach by staying at West Wind Inn. So I'll do a video on the West Wind Inn. And if you're, in, if you're you know, and if you want to like curious about the Sunset uh, Inn, I, you know, just Google or I don't know how you do it on YouTube, but 
I post a lot of videos, so if you search through my videos, I have a video um, on the Sunset Beach Inn, and I also have a video on the Island Inn. If you want to see what the what the rooms look like, what my thoughts and feelings at the time were, um, so yeah, lots of lots of shiny olives. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick span of the shells. That's a pretty orange. That one's neat. A cone, I think is what that is. Oh, and that was like, oh my god, I think this was, I don't know. I feel like this is like an alligator tooth. Isn't that not weird? I think that's what that is. Or a turtle, turtle fingernail. Something weird like that. All right. On this next trip, I'll concentrate more on showing the shells while I'm in Florida. Um, it's just keep, like in my shelling videos, just keep in mind, like when I'm walking the beach, it's hard to see my screen because the sun is, is blaring on it. If you've ever tried to talk or play a game or do anything on your phone outside in the bright sunlight, you know that it's hard to see your screen. And that's why sometimes I think I'm showing you a shell and I'm really not get a lot of comments and you know feel free to comment but it's just like it's not that easy recording walking the beach so um i do appreciate all the kind comments and all the views and all the likes and i'm looking forward to doing more shelling videos so if you enjoy shelling videos um i'm gonna keep them coming and i'm gonna try to improve and show more of the shells and just have a good time in Florida and Sanibel particularly. This next trip is going to be Sanibel and then I think in September we're going to go to Marco Island and I think in August we might try to do a couple days in St. Augustine. So many good beaches in Florida. We do love Sanibel but there's still other good beaches too so I try to show them all to you, show you all our favorite spots. So anyway thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.